It's famously said that many foreigners struggle living in Japan. But do you know why? After watching this video, you will understand why. Meshida jokes about Japan. Meshida. A N A L inspiration of Japan. Welcome to Japan. Today, we will introduce how to treat endangered Japanese people. If you are planning to come to Japan, please watch this. Please don't say hi or talk to Japanese people suddenly. Japanese are really shy with foreigners, so they will be surprised and run away from you. In Japan, adults are also very aware of stranger danger. Japanese people still curious looks at foreigners. Even if you meet their gaze, don't smile at them. Japanese people don't know how to react, and it may create a mass panic. Japanese people have a habit of asking foreigners, "Why did you come to Japan?" Because in general, Japanese people only speak three English phrases: "Why did you come to Japan?" or "Your Japanese is great." And sorry, I cannot speak English. So when they meet foreigner, they can only ask, "Why did you come to Japan?" In fact, they are not interested in the reason you came to Japan. They just want to know when you are leaving. And don't worry, whatever you answer, they cannot understand anyway. Japanese people cannot say no directly. So if you ask out a Japanese person and they say, "Okay, let's go sometime." And they don't mention a specific day. Be careful. It means I cannot think of anything less interesting than going out with you. Japanese people have to translate Japanese too. Meshido. I need a green tea, like white women who eat vegan food and became feminist. When I drink green tea, I'll change into a xenophobe. Geza. Here you go. Now I'm Japanese xenophobe Ken Suzuki. You mean a typical Japanese? So what's the first complaint about Japan? It's very difficult to make Japanese friends. <laughs> The answer is super simple because you can't speak Japanese. If a Japanese person who can't speak English lived in the United States and say it's very difficult to make local American friends, what would you say to him? You would definitely tell him study English. The reason why you can't make Japanese friends is simple. You are rude. Kenza. In your case, it's very different. Even though you can speak Japanese fluently, you don't have Japanese friends. The honne and tatemai culture, which means Japanese people always show tatemai or their public face and hide their honne or honest feelings. Are you guys serious? If we say our honest feelings to you guys, you will leave Japan as soon as possible. For example, if we didn't have honne and tatemai culture, when foreign people spoke Japanese, we'd have to say, "Oh, your Japanese is shit." Kensan, that means Gaijin-san also have a tatemai because they commented on our video. You guys. Speak English very well. Meshido, I'm organizing my solo stand-up comedy show in Tokyo. If you are interested in that, please check out the link below and please become a member of my Patreon, Meshida Academy. If you become a member of my Patreon, you can learn authentic Japanese culture. Of course, hentai culture is included. Since YouTube become very strict about hentai topics, I decided to focus on uploading videos about real Japanese culture on my Patreon. So from now on, I'll teach very interesting cultures in Japan. So please become a student of my Patreon, Meshida Academia. Meshida.
It's common knowledge that some Japanese people change character and become friendly while they are drinking in an izakaya or a bar. Many foreigners complain that even though they became friends and talked a lot while drinking, at a later date they would act distant and like you are never that close. Some foreigners think that while Japanese people drink, they showed their honest side and are happy. That's wrong. To be honest, we Japanese are acting friendly and funny using alcohol. Actually, they drink and enjoy acting as differently for fun to forget this fucking reality. To put it simply, for Japanese people, drinking party is like a play or improv. They are not honest while drinking. They are struggling to act like a funny and friendly person. That's just a public persona. That's why, after the drinking party, they don't act friendly anymore. Without drinking, they don't want to hang out with you. Especially, we Japanese need to drink a lot and act very different when we hang out with foreigners. It's fun, but exhausting. It's like asking Daniel Radcliffe to pretend to be Harry Potter forever. After drinking, the magic is gone. Among Japanese, there is a weird dual personality species. They are called salaryman. Usually, they are like robots. They just work hard and are suspicious of people. So, it's impossible for foreigners to talk to them. But after they finish work, when they start drinking in izakaya or drinking bars, they become outgoing, humorous, and super friendly. This is when you will hear the most English. But the next morning, they go back to being a robot employee and they seem to forget everything about the previous night. So foreigners only have the chance to talk to them in izakaya. If you want to have a look at the Japanese salaryman, please visit an izakaya. Beshido. To our surprise, first, most foreigners, especially Western people, don't know that Japan is like a huge Disneyland for Western foreigners. Also, Asian people are usually working in the back office for a cheap salary and know the reality. For Japanese people, Western people's reviews are very important. We are eager to get high evaluations from Western people and try to be very kind to them. So, in front of Western people, we Japanese are like Disneyland stuff. We pretend to be very nice and sacrifice ourselves to make Western people comfortable. But we Japanese are human too, so we cannot act and work forever. So after you have enjoyed our theme park, we needed to close the doors and take a rest. We hope after we do an electrical parade and entertain foreigners. Foreigners will go back home immediately because it's exhausting to handle them. But some foreigners don't leave the room and try to stay here even after the parade. Then, unfortunately, some of them see the Japanese people who take off their costumes and talk about their honest opinions of foreigners. And they are shocked because they had never realized how Japanese people feel about foreigners. Because unlike in anime, Japanese people don't have thought bubbles. You can't understand them. But don't worry, we Japanese also understand what the Japanese people think. Definitely. I cannot understand you, Ken-san. Why do you make such a boring jokes? Meshita-san, shut the fuck up. Anyway, pitiful foreign men are deceived by Japanese women. After getting married, his Japanese wife will take off her cute costume and evolve into the final boss. Then her foreign husband becomes her subordinate. Beshido. Do you know the phrase read the atmosphere? Kuki wo yomu in Japanese. 
To live in Japanese society, having the ability to read the room is more important than anything else. In Japanese society, harmony within the group is more important than individual self-expression. Therefore, it is important to sense others' feelings and act appropriately to maintain group harmony and ensure smooth communication. Japanese people who cannot read the room are often called KY. Kuki yomenai. Ironically, they do the opposite to smoothing the situation and are excluded. Foreigners often ask, what kind of a person is considered KY? But if you were to translate KY into English, it would be like I'm American. And those Japanese who cannot read the situation often learn English and go overseas, where they engage in negative campaigns about Japan. When Japanese people hear the word air, what comes to mind is a feeling of constriction. In Japan, there is a freedom of speech, but there is also atmospheric control. Each community has its own unique atmosphere, and this air is regarded as a boundary that one must not cross. Just as stand-up comedians overseas are careful not to cross the line, Japanese people also speak carefully so as not to cross the line, a line which they cannot see and which changes all the time. It's less stressful to be a comedian. Unlike overseas, Cancel culture exists even among ordinary people in Japan. However, Japanese cancel culture is not like that of celebrities overseas, where their show schedules are cancelled. Instead, it is being cancelled from messages in a group chat with friends or co-workers. Shichihei Yamamoto, who studies the Japanese idea of air, said in his book, Study of Air, that air is a monster with great absolute power. We hope you keep these tips in mind while enjoying your visit to Japan. Remember, don't smile on the outside, smile on the inside. Beshido. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and please give me super thanks. And if you are in Tokyo, please come to my solo stand-up comedy show. So, See you in Tokyo!